So oh, in today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to build a simple mobile chicken coop like the one that you're seeing in the thumbnail right now. So let me show you how to do that today. It's pretty simple, so follow along. So to be able to move your mobile chicken coop around, you're going to obviously need something to move it around on. So that's where this trailer comes in. You can buy like a really old trailer, and you're probably going to need to change the tires and remove some of the metal for that, so do that. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to Make sure you take note of this, but everything that is going to be on your coop is going to be attached to this. So, let me show you. So, let me show you the trailer that our coop operates on. Now, this trailer it came with our property since our property is pretty old. So, right here is our trailer. It's kind of rusty, and this tire still needs to be repaired. I don't know what caused it to fly, and I guess we're going to need to get a new one. So, let me show you under the coop. So... We'll talk about flooring in a minute, but this is the framing and stuff like that that goes under the coop. And, yeah, there's framing. And then there's this part of the coop right here, which we use for storing stuff, such as, like, the food basket. Um, the end of our waterer goes right there. And that's a pretty simple setup. And this is, um, since this trailer was from, like, what, like, 1975, 1980 or something like that, we needed to, I don't remember what this thing was called, but we had to re, like, install this thing, so chances are if you get a really old trailer or not like a brand new one, you're going to need to reinstall this. So make sure that you have that stuff reinstalled. So now we're going to be planning out what we're going to need for the coop and other stuff, such as, like, you know, building materials, uh, the, the basic layout. So basically, what you're going to need is you're going to need for this type of chicken coop, you're going to need T111 siding, metal roofing, insulation, and this is going to be a little bit more complicated. But, oh, I, I need to get another clip real quick. So, anyways, as I was talking about, you're going to need insulation. So, so cold-tolerant chickens, you're going to need to keep this thing in the coop, so that way they stop from getting, so that way you can stop them from getting hot in the summer. And then, ventilation, so that way you can, like, help, like, keep, like, the temperatures balanced inside and keep some of the birds out. Window obviously so that way you can like open them up and then also help balance out the temperatures inside hurricane ties so that way if you get like i don't know like a freak thunderstorm and then you get a tornado out of that like maybe like an ef1 ef2 where it could like rip off the roof you know it'll help them keep a little bit more safe and then one to three weeks of your time that one's probably the most complicated so let me show you some plans of a fake chicken coop i'm making all right so here are the plans i made in like five minutes didn't take me too long so not a lot of detail here. This is just my roof layout. This is some other stuff here, and this is the plan. Yours is probably going to be a lot more elaborate than that. So just remember, this does not include the trailer plans because, well, I honestly don't, didn't feel like adding it to that time. Alright, so now let's talk about building your floor. So basically what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to frame the floor using 2x4 plywood, and that's basically what you're going to need to use because 2x4 is highly recommended if you're going to do that. But make sure it is still attached to the trailer because if it isn't attached to the trailer, then chances are it might be, able, it might be susceptible to collapse it any day now. And what did I write there? I'm not sure. Hang on. And yeah, sometimes if you want to help fertilize them by using their chicken crap, what you can do is you can add a wire floor. So that way it just falls right through, and then if you have like a mobile chicken coop, you can move it around. So here, let me show you an example of both, but I might be able, but I might have to skip over my other chicken coop because of my really mean rooster named Waldo. Alright, so below this, here, let me clear off some stuff for you. So right here, you'll notice that there is some flooring, and basically this is, we painted it white for good measures, but what we ended up doing was we ended up reusing some of this um, old flooring, that we used during a construction project back in 2011. We ended up clearing some of that stuff out and we still had some left, so we cleaned it out. And then basically what we did was we just reused it, put it as a floor and then put some shavings over top. Now this one's gonna require me to zoom in because um, I'm not going in that yard. All right, so we're right here and this is one of my chickens right here named Hey Hey. So hopefully if I can be able to put this thing under there at a correct Thing, you'll be able to see that there are some metal flooring since you can see right through that and the reason is that way we can help get some of the chicken crap out of the out of the coop in a pretty efficient way and my rooster's now there so i'm gonna have to head out
So, now it is time for wall framing. So, you're going to need a basic construction layout. So, that what it'll do is it'll be having framing 16 inches on the center. And, yeah, you're going to want to frame where the windows and the door will be. So, if you're going to have an automatic chicken coop door, you're going to want to frame where that is. So, we, in the future, you, you don't have to cut through that. If you're going to put a door that you buy at, like, say, like Home Depot, then you're going to want to frame that out right there. If you're going to put some windows there, then you're going to want to frame that out. Because, like, you're gonna have to, like, be able to cut holes in the wall. And to be able to not have to go through the pain and suffering of doing that, then what you have to do is you need to build it on the frame. So that way, whenever it's time to get it, put it in, you're gonna need to do that. Also, I'd recommend taking a tape measure and then measuring it. So here, let me show you framing of the window and automatic coop door of my pet flock. Alright, so I got my tape measure and we're gonna do some measuring here. So basically, we're going to first take a look at the framing of this door. So behind this w wall of T111 and other stuff right here, this, this stuff and foam that's in between it, you're going to have framing. So to be able to put this in, you're going to need to measure the size. So this door we actually made by ourselves, but if you want to go the simpler way and just buy one from the store, you need to do that. So this door is approximately... Oh, come on! You're serious right now, are you? So, this door... Let me put this thing up here. Is a, This is a two-person job and I'm doing it just by myself, so that is my own problem. This door is approximately 62 and a quarter inches tall. So basically what that means is that you're going to need to do that, but you're not done yet with the framing of that door. Because, well, believe me, there's still more to do when, whenever you're building. So, let me show you what you need to do. So now you need to measure this part out, the bottom of the door. So, this door is... So this door is... Let me, as long as my tape measure wants to cooperate with me, I can do that. So this door is currently... 23 and a... About 23 inches. So about 23 inches. So 62 and a quarter by 23 approximately is that that's what you're going to want to put into here. And now for the windows, now let's talk about this. This is work. It's a little bit easier. So these windows right here, they're going to go from here to here, excluding the trim that we put on the windows. I'm going to measure this. So yeah, so I'm going to attach it to up here. Now we're going to measure down to here. So the windows are about 34 inches by, let's see. So you're going to have, have two windows, let's just say. About 34 by, what, like 23, 24, something like that. So 34 by, like, 24. So that's when you're going to want to know. That's how you know, like, what size you're going to want to put the windows in on. And yeah, that was just a little bit about framing the wall, make sure everything's there. And yeah. Let me show you the rest. So, now let's talk about framing roof rafters. So, to be able to do this, at least for this type of chicken coop, you're going to need 2x4s. And basically, what these 2x4s are going to do is they're going to help build your frame for your roof. And then what we have is a peaked roof in the middle, so that way we can stand up. I think the coop's like, what, like 67, 68 inches tall? So that means that that's at the peak, so that way we can stand up. And then we also use metal roofing. Now, let me show you our roof real quick. Alright, so here's our roof, and well, I can't stand on anything, so I'm going to have to really lean up to show you this. So we have metal roofing up here, and then underneath this metal roofing is a layer of weatherproof, I think it is. And then below that you have the plywood that we used to cover up the roof rafters, and then below that are the roof rafters. And here's what roof rafter floor framing looks like. And if you notice, there's foam on this side, but nothing on the other side. It's because the chickens love foam, so make sure to box that off. And I'll show you some of that later. And then we also have some electrical in here. Let me talk about that real quick, even though that has nothing to do with this. So there's electrical right here. You don't really need electrical unless you're running a heated water around here. In that case, what you can do is you can just run an extension cord over to here and then plug it into the chicken coop and then it'll generate electricity. Or you could literally just do the easy and just like run the extension cord out to their yard and then plug in the heated waterer using that. That's that's one of the ways you can do it, and there's so many other ways. Now let's talk about some cool extensions you can add to your chicken coop. 
So, now let's talk about a couple of add-ons that you can add to your chicken coop to help make it maybe a little bit better. The first thing is an automatic chicken coop door, so that way you, so that way you don't have to let them out every morning. I've, I've talked about this like five times on different videos already. Another thing that you can add on to your chicken coop is whiteboard. And I know, it sounds like that stupid whiteboard stuff that I use. Not stupid, what the hell? The, the whiteboard that I use to write down my video ideas, which I'm staring at right now. And then... What you can, instead of that type of whiteboard, what you could use is you could use that to block off the chicken coop. And then, not block off the chicken coop, block off the foam from the chickens. And what that will help do is that'll help them stop, like, picking at the foam, and then keep them cooler in the, keep them warmer in the winter. Now, another thing that you can add on to your chicken coop is roost bars. I know, it's kind of obvious that you need to add on roost bars, but some people don't. So if you want to fit in more chickens in your coop, Roost bars are m a must, since you can have three square feet per chicken. Now, one last thing that I'd recommend you add on to your chicken coop is some, uh, what's it called? Ramp. Yeah, that's what it was called. I keep not, like, r not knowing the words I'm supposed to say, but ramp. A ramp will definitely help them get out, since a lot of people don't use these. In fact, we didn't use a ramp until recently. So, yeah, those are just a couple of things I've added on. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.